Hello again, and thanks for checking out part 2 of my RAM disk tutorial. So continuing on from part 1, now that you've created your RAM disk volume, you have a few options for syncing your sessions on the RAM disk to the physical disk rather than simply dragging folders back and forth. The simplest way to automatically sync would be to use one of the many backup utilities available. The best free one is easily Carbon Copy Cloner, and I'll show you why. You can select here exactly which directories you want to clone. So you can select your RAM disk and designate your session folder on your hard disk as the receiving end. Now from here, you actually have a lot of very useful options to choose from. For example, you can set up an archive so when a new copy is added to your drive, older versions are tucked away, or you can just elect not to archive. Also you can customize even further if you click Customize Settings. You now have some of the most important options you could ask for. With this first selection, you can elect to leave all the file folders already in your session folder untouched, so it will only update those which have been modified. In the second selection, you can choose what to do with the modded files. So you can overwrite or archive, and the checkbox below will prevent overwriting of files that may be newer on the hard disk than in your RAM disk. It's pretty cool. If you choose to archive, you can designate the size of the archive, choose to automatically prune the contents, and how much to keep for how long. And there's even more interesting settings down here. You can calculate a checksum for potentially corrupt files, force a deletion pass before copying new files. There are some pretty great features in here for donationware. Now, there's only one significant drawback to this and most other backup utilities, and that is frequency. Carbon Copy Cloner only allows you to make backups as frequently as once an hour. But that's still pretty good for long mix sessions, and is the best rate of the free utilities I've been able to find. There's some expensive backup utilities you can use with minute-to-minute -minute routines, but I'm here to show you the best way to do this for free. Now that being said, I've also come up with a way to automate syncing Pro Tools sessions using the OSX feature called Automator. Automator is basically a simplified way to use pre-programmed Apple Script commands to automate certain tasks, particularly those involving moving files around. What I've done is come up with a way to get Automator to sync your sessions to your hard drive every time Pro Tools creates a new backup session file. This way you can actually have Pro Tools itself determine how frequently to write your session to the disk. So we'll start by going into Applications and opening up Automator. We're going to be creating a folder action, so select that from the template window that pops up. Now we have a long list of commands to choose from, and it'll be easier to sort the specific actions we need if we just select files and folders from the library list on the side here. Now you can see that we have a shorter list of mostly finder-related actions. We're going to start by dragging over Get Specified Finder Items. Make sure you grab Specified and not Selected. So we just drag it over to the big space here, and now we have some options opened up for our workflow. Up at the top here, you're going to want to select your RAM disk as the folder, so there you go. Now, in this new box we've created, we're going to click Add and select the Backup Session Files folder located in the Session folder on the RAM disk. And there it is. Okay, now we want to create a copy action for this. So for every time a new backup file is created, it will trigger a chain reaction of copy events. So we'll add copy finder items to our workflow and then select the original session folder on your physical hard disk. Don't click replace existing files or you will end up with new folders created all over the place, trust me. Now keep in mind that an action like this will not retain files already existing on that drive in that location. Everything will be overwritten with exactly what is on the RAM disk, so be aware of that when you're saving things. Alright, the action we've created will only copy the backup files. So we will create the same events, but for the whole session folder now. So drag Get Specified Finder Items again over to the space, and this time we will select the whole session folder on the RAM disk. Now drag Copy Finder Items again, and this time we will select the directory your session folder is in. In my case, it's just called Sessions. Make sure this time that you do click Replace Existing Files. Once we have all that selected and settled out, 
we're pretty much done with Automator. You can test it out by clicking on Run and watching the folders this action is assigned to. You should see some action going on between the folders on the different volumes. If you see all green check marks at the bottom, you're good to go. This means the session in the RAM disk should be an exact mirror of the session on the hard drive right now. Now, save the folder action named specifically for the session that you're working with. This is going to be very important in just a minute. Alright, close Automator. Now we want to check on the folders that we've just created actions for because we want to make sure it will perform automatically. So start by right clicking or control clicking on the session folder on your RAM disk. Select Folder Action Setup and choose your session specific action from the list. Make sure the checkboxes are selected here and close. Now do exactly the same on the session file backups folder inside your session. At this point, we want to make sure that the folder action for your RAM disk itself is disabled. The reason for this is because every time you put a new file or folder in the RAM disk, it will automatically make a copy or overwrite back to your hard disk. It can cause some duplicate folders to be created and it can just be a little bit messy. So just make sure that's deselected. At this point, you should be good to go, but we'll check and make sure. So we'll go ahead and open the session on your RAM disk. Now at this point you probably realize that it isn't the most elegant solution and it does take a little bit of time and patience to get it right. At the same time, it's 100% free and it doesn't take very long once you get the hang of it. It only ends up taking about 30-40 seconds, maybe a minute at the most, per session. And here we go. So, now whenever you open a Pro Tools session, new folders are created right away, and you'll see Automator react to this. This should be your first indication that it's working, so check out your Finder windows, and there you should see that you have new folders created. Okay, so this is actually the first time I've ever opened this session in Pro Tools 10, and already it seems to be pretty responsive. Now currently have backup sent to one minute so we should see some action shortly. Now the main issue of this procedure is that you have to do it for every new session individually. However, you only have to do it once per session. Even if you clear the RAM disk and the contents, the folder actions are retained. So when you bring a session back into the RAM disk later on, the folder action will be ready to go and it just becomes a bit of peace of mind. Now. This is about 95% reliable in my experience so far. Sometimes it may skip a backup or two while you're working, but in all honesty, the likelihood of that causing a real problem is very low unless your workstation is prone to power outages, which shouldn't be an issue if you're smart and use a UPS or if you're on a laptop with some battery life. And as you can see, the folder has now just been updated. So. Let's have a peek inside, shall we? And we can see very clearly that all the files and folders match the same timestamps between the two volumes. Another thing you may notice from time to time is an extra file or folder that ends up outside the session folder. These files are only duplicates and can be removed immediately if you wish. If you go back and check inside your session folder, the necessary files and folders will still be in their respective locations. The final thing to note is that it doesn't automate when you click save. So when you save and quit from Pro Tools, it's still a good idea to dump the contents of your RAM disk manually to your hard drive just to ensure everything's 100% up to date. Now I hope you found these tutorials helpful, and feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. Thank you for checking out my videos and expect to see more soon.